Welcome to the day after Judgment Day. The Taking place after the events of Terminator Judgment Day, Terminator Dark Fate revisits the life of Sarah Connor after altering the events of the future with the evil o- the victory over the evil manufacturing corporation Cyberdyne. Connor is once again called to action to aid in the protection of a young girl who may hold the key to a better world. Constantly being hunted by a dangerous new Terminator, she enlists the help of a female cyborg. She does not. Uh, to uh-huh. secure the future and the world from a potentially ominous and not so distant future. Directed by Tim Miller, here's where some of the problems might come in. Story by James Cameron, Charles H. Eagley, Josh Freeman, David Goyer, and Justin Rhodes. This movie had like five fucking writers. Goyer wrote for this? Yeah. Huh. I wonder what parts. <laughs> um, so after seeing two failures, no one now no one is excited for a new Terminator movie. I mean, when James I saw, Cameron is when I saw the trailer for yeah. the for Dark Fate, I was like, all right, they're looks so, like they're trying again. So James Cameron Let's got see. like full control of Terminator again. That's how this movie came about. Okay. Okay. And people theorized that when he was a consultant on the other films, he purposely gave them bad ideas so that would sabotage him and they would revert back to him. Uh, so he has the story and whatnot. Now, everyone's like, it's going to fix it. It's going to fix it. They get the, one of the Deadpool guys to direct it. Tim, Tim Miller. Miller. Tim Miller did this. Film. Yes. So they get him and they're like, oh, it's a good looking film. Uh, it's everything's yeah. going to be saved. And then the movie comes out and everyone got angry online. Is about the, the very Black beginning, Nanobots? because it's in the, the alien, it's the Alien Three of the Terminator from franchise. a guy who's been <laughs> shitting on Alien Three for 20, 30 years. Um, yeah, so John Connor just dies. He just died. There were more than one Terminator sent back. They they killed him. He gets his ass popped getting a fucking mai tai at some kind of bar. Did yeah. was, didn't Arnold like walk out of the ocean because he yeah. was like walking? No, he, he didn't walk out of the ocean. I'm pretty sure ocean. he just walked out of the ocean. Yeah. No, 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 no. There is a flat. She has a flashback to the original future war with terminators coming out of the ocean yeah and then it fades into what happened in 1992 i guess oh okay. and arnold just walks he did not walk out of the ocean i don't know <laughs> that i was walking really underneath funny if he yeah. had walked yeah. from wherever he was <laughs> yeah he walked naked yeah. He's there. <laughs> he um, should have killed john connor naked yes <laughs> that's imagine, what i want to see in full cg imagine if he like walked up <laughs> naked and just like twisted his head yeah. off that'd be pretty great so john connor died the Judgment Day was stopped. <laughs> but and or, the T-800 just, well, I'm done. And yeah. then just started a life I'm somewhere. Bored. Which is what yeah, he, he would do. He literally he went. Yes. So life. so then the new thing is like, well, how do we do Judgment Day? And it's like, well, James Cameron's a smart guy. This is his baby. So what do we do with Judgment Day? Oh, another company made another thing. Legion. And they also made Terminators. And they're also called, they're called Rev-9, but they're also called Terminators. And yeah. there's reference to Hunter Killer. So it's like. Yeah, they say HK is in it. Now, is this supposed to be like Terminator 3 where it's like, well, we got all the stuff from Cyberdyne. Did did Legion get all their stuff from Cyberdyne? They had to. Again, it's just another, it's just history repeating itself again in a different way. But kind of different. So, I don't so, fucking need it. Like, so, so we're telling guys, the same story again. No, 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 no. It's, it's very different. So good. So yes. This one's about a good guy going back in time uh-huh. to save someone from a bad guy going back in time. Broke oh. ground. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This one's about a good girl she's also not a terminator she's She's not she's a human with enhanced cybernetic enhancements she can move really fast for a short period yes which is but she's always dying i guess she has toxic shock syndrome because you're not supposed to have all that shit every time she does anything for three minutes she almost dies every time yeah but but it's like who the fuck is putting all the shit in them like, well, the the whatever the resistance is in the future. Yeah, yeah but it can't be very clean or anything. Well, no, I think oh, it's no, new. it's definitely not I mean. clean. It's definitely new because they they said she wants to volunteer. It's definitely like experimental. Yeah. They haven't had it figured out yet. Yeah. So she's going back in time to save a, a tiny lady with Her tiny arms. Danny something. Yeah. When they showed the promotional <laughs> image of all three girls walking, I don't know. The girl's arms look so tiny, like T Rexes. I don't know. The uh, the, uh, the the cyborg lady is a, is a big lady. The only thing she did other than this was uh, 2049. No, she's done a couple things, and I I didn't really like 2049, but she was fine in it. She is terrible in this. I think she's all right in this. I never liked her character. Yeah. I thought she was miserable to be around. Yeah. I didn't care about the young girl that they were trying to save. No. I'm sure she's a fine actress. Not in this. Well, Linda. Oh, oh, so Linda Hamilton is a Terminator hunter because someone gives her coordinates to Terminators, so f- which are still being sent for some reason. Why are it, they being sent from other timelines? It's other timelines concerning with different 
uh, uh, Corporation is not Cyberdyne or Skynet. It's like a different thing now. Well, no, 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 no. Because the Rev-9, that's the first thing she's seen. She's been killing one type of Terminator ever since. So, so someone gives her coordinates to when a Terminator is going to show up and she yeah. shows up and kills it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they never say how she does it. No. Yeah, but it's also why, too, because now that John's dead, who's the leader of the resistance and who are they going after? Well, no, who's telling her to do it? No, it's no, 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 no. Uh, who are the Terminators going after? Oh, they're going after Danny. Danny is the oh, new Oh, they are going no, after. No, 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 that's the what, that's what but Legion's going after. But yes, I'm see? talking the pre-existent Cyberdyne models. So who the are fuck they are they just going to kill Sarah Connor? Or yeah, yeah you're there, right. They don't know who. Yeah. Or are they just the there new... to kill anyone? Exactly. Like, or It's confusing. Whatever. It doesn't make sense. No. Uh, yeah, so she tries to save him. Linda Hamilton is awful in this. Phoning it in is an understatement. She has a Fuck couple a good moments. There's a really good line. There's a really good scene where she's crying about John. She's like, I don't have a picture of him anymore. I'm starting to forget what she looks like. That part was really good. Everything else with Linda Hamilton, especially when she's trying to act tough, is awful. So there, there's a few twists. One which was spoiled is where it's like, oh, the Terminator who killed John is the one he grew a conscience. Derekana. I'm kind of okay with that because it's like, realistically, you send a cyborg to go back and kill someone. They have to do something till after Judgment Day. So they have to be able to learn. Because remember the theatrical cut. I solved all the crossword puzzles in the world. Yeah. Now what do I do? Yeah. So in the theatrical cut, they just say they can learn. The Santa version has the whole chip in the a head. learning computer. Uh, so is, basically it's like, I guess. Traffic. Yeah. So I guess the idea is, hey, you sit around, you find something to do until after Judgment Day. He makes up his own puzzles. Yes. So he's there and he's learning. And I guess he develops a conscience what? because because Judgment Day never happens. So he's around humans longer than he probably was supposed to be. I, I actually don't mind this part. It would have been nice to see some flashbacks of a Terminator changing diapers yeah, or something because he lives with the woman who I assume is asexual, who has a son who refers to him as dad. But he's like our relation because because uh, Linda Hamilton, she's like. Doesn't she notice you're 400 pounds? Like, we're, we don't do anything physical. <laughs> I'm like, all, all right, I guess that's a good enough explanation. <laughs> um, and he runs a drapery thing, which I did like. But I didn't think I, I that was spoiled for me. And I didn't think I was going to like it. But I do like the scene where he's just explaining. He's like, so the draperies have to be this, this, this. If it's a little girl, it needs it balloons. Needs polka dots. Or like, it I needs kinda, polka dots. I kind of like, because like a Terminator that's stuck without a sure. prime thing. So what's, it's going to learn shit. It's yeah. got to blend in. I like that. He's Dra like drapery. He's like, yeah, I learned how to make drapes. And I not, guess I'm pretty good at it. Not like computers or like fixing cars or I don't know what. No, it would have been too obvious. Um, but yeah, back. I guess because I guess what would have happened when he's just like, oh, it's Judgment Day, and then and, but then <laughs> quitting then, then time. I, then I feel bad because he's like, well, Skynet took over, but we're still ten years off for when my model comes around. So I guess I just gotta wait around more. And, and then, then like he just sits there, and then who will be like, okay, hey Skynet, I'm back. And then what? Give me another program. Give me another thing to do. Does he have to like submit an application again? To he's like, hey, I killed him because it's not the same place anymore yeah. now it's something else. now he's gonna wait around and it's a different fucking company whatever they're gonna be like you're uh, fired get out of here well that's no the the other company something else like we he originally would have waited oh, for sure. judgment day but then it never happened so his he has nothing he's just <laughs> learning to live with his family i didn't mind that that was kind of when the movie was winning me back after being boring as fuck mm. and then it just goes back to generic horrible action i will say the terminator's good in this gabriel luna yeah he's pretty good i love the terminator in this I'm yes so bad he was How ghost can, rider like, in agents of shield yeah. can make uh, like the two forms oh, it's that's pretty cool what terminator that's, 3 should have did when yeah, i saw the trailer so for this when i saw the trailer for this i said two things well this looks like shit i'm never gonna see it and then the second thing i said was Oh, the liquid metal coming off the skeleton. They should have done that in Terminator and 3. becoming another. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, well, that make why else that makes sense to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's really good. I like the natural progression of the Terminators because like now he's able to make jokes. He's able to make jokes and yeah. like witty stuff to blend in more. But I like that he turns it off as soon as he sees the girl. And that's mm -hmm. what I need. Right. Like we didn't get that with yeah. Terminatrix. Like she was making a joke to herself. Catherine Brewster. <laughs> she says something so But weird. she was she was making herself laugh and it's like no that's no. no. That's yeah. yeah. Well you got to make yourself laugh. Anyway. Live laugh love. <laughs> the CGI in this during the fight scenes it's back to rubbery CGI any, from the mid 2000s. Time. When they're on the plane, first off the truck chase looks like shit. But when they're on the plane and they're flying around the plane, I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm, I feel like I'm watching Catwoman again. What is this?" Mm. 
<laughs> this looks so bad. In a modern movie that had a decent budget. By the way, this is now one of the biggest financial flops of all time. Three, st- they, they, you couldn't fool the audience three mm, times. Mm. Actually, no, three times because people didn't like Terminator Three. Yeah. So this is Terminator. So this is three, three stri- point part four. Three strikes. The fans and audience are out. They're not coming to the theater for this one. So, They'll wait till video, maybe. So when's the reimagining? The reboot? No, just the reimagining. Oh. It's totally it, it different. Was called, with the uh, same. Yeah, it was yes, called. Gotcha. It was called Terminator: The Sarah Connor Chronicles on Fox. I watched season one and thought it was okay. Never saw season two. It got canceled. Never saw it. I remember when it came out. Anyway, Terminator Dark Fate, uh, it's a miserable experience. And everyone everyone keeps saying the same thing. And you saw me responding to people. We're like, no, oh, it's the best since the second one. Yeah, but it's the best since the second one. I'm like, yeah, but it's just another bad movie. It doesn't matter if it's the best since the second one. And my response to you was, you're comparing a bigger pile of shit to a pile of shit and yeah. saying that this pile of shit is better than this pile of shit. Yeah. We're all, we're all gonna but agree. it's all still shit. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're all going to agree. Oh, it's the best one. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Like, it's like the, you the, shouldn't the, have to compare it to another movie to make it better. It's well, like, oh, this is great compared to that one. No, no, just watch just this. Exactly. And then you then yeah. you give me that answer. And it's like, oh, well, then it's bad. I like when people totally. the new Batman. They're like, man, it's the best Batman in a while. It's like, yeah, that wasn't hard. Did you see Batman v Superman and the theatrical cut of Justice League? Like, What's wrong with you? Like it was a challenge. Suicide Squad is technically a Batman movie. He shows up for a second in that. Anything's better than that. It's <laughs> also that thing where, like, where it's slightly elevated or slightly better, they immediately think it's amazing. Yes, like Ghostbusters after. Like, <sighs> I agree, Joe, and I'm glad we both agree. Why did they choose black nanobots? Like, I'm just because <laughs> everybody else to differentiate. Because it's it slick. Cooler? Well, because mm-hmm. how many how many silvery shits have we seen over you the know, past four, five movies? Silvery and then shits. there is a little bit of not people were complaining about the politics and what and whatnot. There is a little bit of politics stuff with the border stuff. There's a lot of bit of politics, man. Really? I didn't think it was that. Maybe because I other movies hit you over the head so hard with it. Yeah. This one was a little bit more restrained with it. It's, like, there's one scene where she was just like, where are the prisoners? She's like, we call them detainees. Yeah. And it's like, that. You would never. An- that's not how you would answer that when you're being threatened. Like, yeah, when you're about to die. I yeah. forgot that was in the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It didn't bother me. Because like, of what was going on at the time. And I get it. I guess, like, putting it in Mexico and stuff, because we had to. This is when Hollywood was like, well, we got to stop Donald Trump. It's like, yeah, Hollywood, you're going to do it. With a Terminator movie. Yeah, Hollywood, you have such a good track record of not being a problematic <laughs> person. You're definitely going to be the one to stick it to him. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Twitter will be with us. So, sorry, where was most of the Me Too movement uh, directed toward? Oh, Hollywood, right, right, right. Yeah, they're the people telling us how to live our lives. Anyway, um... What do you mean? This movie was like an all-female cast, except for the Terminator. Women Empowerment, man. Oh, yeah, there is a little bit of that, too. Although it was weird that Sarah just assumes that a man is going to be the hero. Like, oh, yeah. you're going to have a, you're gonna shit oh, you're gonna a boy a like I did. Uh, and I do like that thing where she's like, no, Sarah, she's going to do it. This tiny three foot girl is going to beat up a room full of guys that <laughs> tower over her in the future. I, I guess. mean, that's not the pro- that's not the problem with the movie. Yeah, no, no, you no. know the what I mean? The problem is it's boring. Yeah, it's by the numbers. Mm-hmm. And it's more of the same shit. It's more of the same. And shit. And that's the biggest sin that it does. Yes. It reminds um, me a lot of Terminator 3 just with like, <laughs> without all the without all the humor to make all it the, interesting. Yeah, without oh, all yeah, the cheese. Wow. All right, so it's worse than that. Yeah. yeah. So, so now that we've come to the end, <laughs> we've come to the end. 